We jump right into the kitchen and we're going to make a few quick and easy dishes with fresh asparagus. Chef TV Flynn, love the name TV Flynn, from the Tides Inn, makes his debut here in Virginia this morning in the kitchen. And we welcome TV to our live show. Great to see you, TV. Right, I have to ask welcome. TV, you, you are made for television. TV correct, correct. stands for? It's Thomas Victor. Thomas Victor, let's go for so it. I've been all TV right. all my life. So what it, um, you know, we're celebrating spring at the Tides Inn. Awesome. And all the great things that come with spring, you know, we're... Uh, Working with quality rockfish out of the Chesapeake Bay. Sure. Great local oysters. We anticipate the arrival of our soft shell crabs this week. And right now, asparagus is what's happening. Look at this beautiful asparagus. These babies were picked yesterday morning. Were they really? Uh, we work with a local farmer, Farmer Clark, who's about 10 miles from our property. So he picks them Thursday morning, brings them to our kitchen Thursday afternoon, and they don't get any fresher than that. Um, and, and, and tell us about that, uh, Chef Lynn. When you have something this fresh, really just hours out well, of the ground, heck, what does that do for you as well, a chef we, and we, really for the people that are going to be enjoying it? We make sure we tell our guests how fresh it is. We even say on our menu, just picked. Our servers know it was just picked. Um, we went and pickled some last night just to really look cool. And these asparagus, once the weather warms up, which it has, yeah. these guys grow six to 10 inches a day. So it's amazing how quick. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, six to 10 inches a day? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not making it up, so. Um, and also- We need to do a story on that. You really, six to 10 inches a day, that's fantastic. And you know, when you see it, it's so nice and fresh and crisp and where it breaks, this is where you eat. Where it breaks, that's where you eat. The ends may be safe for stock or something like that. So anyways, what we're gonna do, and also, uh, we're going to talk about honey, and we're excited about honey because this is the, uh, our, our first year with our honeybee program, and we just have four brand new beehives that are on a piece of our property that we planted with cloves and uh, uh, fresh wildflowers. So we, our little honeybees have their own little buffet right there for them, <laughs> and we expect to be harvesting honey in the fall. You're serving so, people with legs and wings. I exactly. love it. Exactly. So we got the asparagus, we got the honey. It's all right there at the Tides Inn. Chef Lynn, if I'm at the market, what should I be looking for with asparagus like this? Well, I mean, obviously, sure you know that it's, it's coming from something fresh. Well, yeah. You can tell it's so crisp. Yeah. Once they get really, really too big, they may get woody, but this this is just the optimum size, I think. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, let's just jump right in. Fresh So uh, what we're going to do first, real quick, is what I've done here in our little grill pan mm -hmm. is with a, I've, I've brushed these little toasts with olive oil and grilled them. Mm -hmm. And we are also grilling asparagus. And what I'm gonna start off first with is this is a little bit of baby arugula. Oh, that's good. Has a nice little bite to it, doesn't it? Correct, and the, we're gonna finish it with honey and the honey will counter that bite. And this here, some goat cheese. And then all we do is we're gonna get some honey Chef, what is it like uh, it working with uh, some goat cheese? Because goat cheese definitely has a distinct taste. Well, yeah, it's not really. I say it's tangy. It's a lot more acceptable these days. People aren't quite as scared of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then all we do. Okay, so we have baby arugula, some goat cheese, and, and some of the honey that comes exactly. right there from the Tides Inn. And it's just a quick blend. It's going to be uh, sort of serve as a, a base. This or is a... like both of these dishes, I believe, are just really great, like Easter brunch type dishes, you know, really light, fresh, vegetable, and... Simple. Yeah, it's, it's that simple. You have the warm toast. You have a little olive oil as well. well you don't want to drench it exactly. uh, on there right before you, you put it on the grill. we're going to this right here. And Chef, how long would the asparagus be on here on the, uh, on the grill? What would you recommend? I, and this stuff is so good, and when the grill is hot, and particularly when you're at home, if you have a hot charcoal grill or your propane grill, Two minutes or less. Two Just or little, less, that's yeah, it. That's right. it. A little bit of uh, olive oil, a little sprinkle of sea salt, and that's it. You, you poking and prodding with the asparagus, or really just let it sit? Do you just put let a, it sit once and turn it once. Just this way for a minute, turn it for a minute, get it off the grill. You don't, especially this stuff is such great quality, you don't want it to overcook. You adding anything to the asparagus? So now here, you know, here what is this, this asparagus has been grilled, a little sea salt, a little, little olive sea salt. oil. That's it. And even, and again, this helps with the tanginess, just right on top. Mm -hmm. uh, finish with a little bit oh of honey. Boy. And the only other thing that these guys need is a pinch of black pepper. A pinch of black pepper. And, and this is a great appetizer you can serve anytime. All right, you're the trained professional, but tell us about the importance of uh, some pre uh, presentation as well. Well, I mean, we have, you know, again, we have our colorful plates. The, you know, let the freshness of the product speak mm -hmm. for itself. Um, we're also going to make, again, in order to incorporate asparagus and honey, I'm going to show you a quick way to make a, what I call, consider a mason jar uh, salad dressing. I love it. Let's and do it. I we think, got about a minute know, and a half. We can do this. Okay, we can do this real quick then. 
for the dressing. Okay. Get a mason jar, obviously. Right, yep. Yeah. It's quick chopped up like a small shallot, a clove of garlic. Clove of garlic. Right, okay. shallot and garlic. Teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of Dijon mustard. Okay. And we're going to get this recipe on our website at WTVR.com slash VTM, so you can follow along with uh, Chef at Home. And accurately measured a teaspoon and a half of honey. <laughs> one right. one thousand, two one thousand. There we All go. Right. Quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Quarter cup. Three quarters cup of extra virgin olive oil. Oh, boy. Right. A pinch of sea salt. Done. That is just a pinch. And... All you got to do is put the lid back on. Seriously. And the dressing. Now, you, this is a good basic honey, mm -hmm. Dijon, balsamic vinaigrette. Would you like to let this settle, chef? Well, yeah. Like I to mean, sit it, in you the know, refrigerator for a while to yeah, serve but I, I maybe know, in a I day like, or two? Or yeah, could I this just go right personally, on the Personally, I, I like the freshness right away of it. And the only thing you can do with it is um, you could add a herb of choice, whatever your favorite herb oh, is. Oh, man. So we take the grilled asparagus. Put it on a plate. We're garnishing it with a pimento and smoked bacon crostini. Oh boy. I can, I can see Bill Bevins' uh, mouth is watering right now. So look at this. You just made this dressing. Let's just do that it. quick. And then you dress your freshly grilled asparagus <laughs> with this. Again, you make balsamic. it look so easy, chef. But it is. I mean, why buy dressing? when it can happen like that. Yeah? Chef TV Flynn, it is a pleasure. A Thank pleasure. you so much. Sure. You also have that uh, Taste of oh. Spring 2017. Come on this out and enjoy next Easter Saturday. brunch this Sunday from 11 to 2 at the Tides Inn and enjoy beautiful Chesapeake Bay. They offer an oyster roast every Sunday during the month of April. We're going to post a link on our website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com. And quickly, what was that and other one? Next Saturday the 22nd is our Taste of Spring event. Craft beers, local wines, unlimited tastings. You had me a craft beer. You had me a craft beer.